<laughs> healthy. We'll pretend like we're healthy in here. We're kicking off another recurring Good Day segment this morning. And for this one, we are recruiting help from experts from all different fields of expertise. Mm -hmm. And we're kicking it off today by talking health, specifically men's health wisdom. Mm -hmm. That's because uh, no. June is Men's Health Awareness Month. So mm -hmm. Dr. Shilpi Agarwal joins us now to explain some changes that we can make to our own diets to be healthy. And I think the first step is, is as men, we need that little kick in the butt to actually get to the doctor. Mm -hmm. That, that, yeah. is, yes. that is huge. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Morning to you. Well, uh, June is Men's Health Month, mm -hmm. and you know, guys are not the first people to go to the doctor. They're right. never, they never putting their hand yeah. up yeah. to say, "Oh, pick me to go to the doctor first." <laughs> right. you know? okay. But it is very important because statistics show us that one in four men actually has heart disease, hmm. and more men die of cancer every year than women actually do. Wow. So it is important for guys to focus on their health. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how can they do that? You got some We've things got for some us here to great kind of, foods, yeah, yeah, to add into the diet to okay. help men. The first one is tomatoes. Okay. Tomatoes are great because they contain lycopene, and that's an antioxidant that specifically is good for guys because when they absorb it into the body, it's stored in the prostate, and that's going to help us to protect from prostate cancer and testicular cancers. Wow, okay. So you want to add tomatoes two to three times a week, either I'm, raw or soft. Oh, that okay. Was gonna be the I was gonna, that's Ooh, the same thing. <laughs> so I didn't know if you rough. cook out On the, the right uh, nutrients or not. Okay. So that's fine. What about broccoli here? Broccoli, people either kind of love it or mm -hmm. they hate it. This one throws barbecue sauce on it. I put any kind of sauce on it. Well, I figure because it's healthy, I got to do something. So I will eat <laughs> At it. At least I just you're getting it in yeah, there. Yeah. So that's not messing it up though. Putting stuff on it. <laughs> You want to add more things like hummus or maybe okay. a yogurt sauce, but broccoli is so great for guys because it's a good source of soluble fiber, and mm -hmm. what that does is helps to level out your cholesterol. Okay. That's going to keep your heart healthy, and we know from studies, statistics, that heart disease, number one killer of guys over 35 years old. Okay. So me drenching it in butter, that doesn't help, though, does it? Probably not the best option for <laughs> right. that, but hopefully you're still getting it's in the good broccoli. It's roasted in the oven. You okay. know, you can do that. That's a definitely the healthier way. Okay. Yeah, right. let's go with right. that. Stay away from the barbecue sauce. Right. Yeah. So we'll let her do the cooking for that. Okay. All right. yes. <laughs> Ah, uh, blueberries. Blueberries, my personal food. favorite. I okay. like to really recommend them to a lot of my male patients. And that's because two reasons. They have a lot of vitamin C, so they're going to help boost up your immune system, keep you guys from getting sick, getting those colds. And then second, guys have so much stress. So they really regulate a hormone in the body called cortisol. And okay. cortisol is a stress hormone. You want to taper that with the blueberries. Oh, okay. Well, here, I'll just take, take it right off your hand Please. right now. Yeah. 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 A lot of stress going on. <laughs> just start, start eating them right now. <laughs> you can. You can actually add that then to the next thing that we're mm -hmm. going to talk about, which is yogurt or a kefir drink. That's uh -huh. my top recommendation for healthy bowel and gut bacteria. Okay. And probiotics are in both of those, and those are things that help to restore the gut, help to repair them from things like heavy drinking, which we uh, saw, mm -hmm. things like <laughs> yeah. taking Julie. medications, yeah. mm -hmm. and um, just a bad diet. Having probiotics, very important. And we also know that colon cancer is the third most commonly diagnosed cancer amongst men after lung and prostate. Yogurt's really become a, a superfood of mm -hmm. sorts, totally. isn't it? Greek yogurt, yeah. you see it everywhere, so many different varieties. That is actually Greek yogurt. Okay. And then kefir is a drinkable version that has some different cultures in it, but also a great option. And you can get this anywhere? You can, you just can pick get it up that anywhere? at any okay. grocery store. Gotcha, okay. I have not made it to that aisle yet. It's, yeah, well, it's I'm, I'm going to make it right now and try it out. But now yeah. you'll see it and know what it is, That's right. right. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Now, uh -huh. you even have garlic here, which, you know, I said earlier, you can roast the broccoli with the garlic. Mm -hmm. So add right. the two together. All of these together would mm -hmm. be a great option. Mm -hmm. Garlic is great because what it does is it has a compound in it called allicin. And the allicin, it's... Um, what it does is it clears away the free radicals mm -hmm. in the heart, and um, it also protects us against heart disease. So okay. garlic is a great option. Many people don't really like the taste or the mm -hmm. smell of it. Mm -hmm. And so I also recommend you can take it in pill form, supplement form. You want to do that twice mm -hmm. a day, morning and night, with food. Okay. okay. And if it scares the ladies away from having the garlic breath, yeah. just remind them that you're healthy. Yeah. Right. Oh, so, try okay. to be is that going to work? You, you are. All these foods, especially garlic, healthy for the heart. Okay. And these are, uh, same goes for women, I would assume, too. All these I are mean, great do, for women. they're going to have the same benefits as well. Yes. Okay. They, some of them have particular ones for men, such as the tomatoes, oh. where mm -hmm. we're storing them in the prostate. Okay. But in general, these are all very healthy foods for all of us to add to our diet. Listen, on a serious note, you mentioned that, that guys with the, you know, the occurrences, whether it be uh, the diseases, the prostate, whatever it is mm -hmm. that, that affect us, if we do go to the doctor more often, do we have a better chance of avoiding that? We definitely do. Mm -hmm. When men go to the doctor, they end up finding out their risk for certain diseases. Mm -hmm. They end up being much better at doing prevention. So going to the doctor, also a very important step. 
Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank you, good doctor. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate Hopefully it. Hopefully, you guys can start eating some of these now. Uh, well, well, I think we're going to go for the blueberries. <laughs> yeah. First. yeah. Blueberries. That's the one most people and pick. And then so. we'll work our way back yeah. around yeah. the other. Cheaper yeah. blueberries. Yeah. 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 Got it covered now. Thank Thanks you. for joining us. Thank appreciate you. it. Still having the box beat. Kevin sits down with the stars of Jersey Boys when we come back. Go ahead, dig in there. You know you want some whiskey. <laughs> I do. Mm. I already ate mine. I'm messing my teeth. <laughs> and then we go outside to the unhealthy bunch. Promise is something for everyone. Set a course for adventure.